<laughs> Slumber parties are so cool. I hope Ginger has cable. We can stay up all night watching music videos. I can't wait to get there. Scaring you is the Girls, have fun. Thanks, Dad. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Thanks for walking us. Hold up. Are you sure this is the right house? Uh, 1313 Raven Lane. Yep, check it. I thought nobody lived here. Well, yeah, I told you. She just moved to the neighborhood. Hey, it's nice. It's really nice of her to invite us when she hasn't even met us yet. Where'd you meet her again? I told you. In front of the old movie theater? That place has been closed for years. I didn't say we were in the theater. I said in front of it. Whatever. She's super nice. Trust me, you'll like her. Welcome, ladies. I'm so excited. My first sleepover. <laughs> oh, Ginger, your new friends look so nice. Come on in, girls. <laughs> Well, let's get to know everybody, shall we? Mom and Dad, I'd like you to meet Sasha. She lives on Rodden Lane. And I brought my friends. This is Chloe, Yasmin, Jade, and Megan. What lovely young ladies. Ginger is just thrilled to make new friends. Ooh, I'll get you some snacks and refreshments. Say, I'll set you girls up in the rumpus room. It's so nice of you to have all of us over. What a swell idea, Sasha. A sleepover. I've never had one before. You've never had a sleepover? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do next. Don't worry. We know how to make a sleepover a total success. We'll have fun tonight, and you'll feel like you've always known us. Any friend of Sasha's is a friend of ours. Girlfriend huddle. New friends! <laughs> Did you wash up? Brush teeth? Yes, ma'am. Ready? Good night, ladies. Sleep tight. What are you doing? Where'd you get those? 
clothes. What do you mean? This is required sleepover gear. Okay, let's tell scary stories. I don't know. My mom said bedtime. She said to try and get some sleep. Parents don't really expect kids to sleep at a sleepover. This is what sleepovers are all about. Staying up, telling spooky stories, makeovers, playing truth or dare, midnight kitchen raids, pranks. Ginger, you're with girlfriends that know how to have fun. Go ahead, Sasha. Okay, have you ever been to a room of mirrors? Sometimes the fun house at the carnival will have one. Each mirror has its own name. Stretch, Twister, Wild One. Girl, what happened to you? To me? Look at you! Girlfriend, that is really twisted! <laughs> I can't even see myself! Make space, people! I can't see myself! Oh, here we go! Sasha's stuck in her old self again. She doesn't need us. She's got a best friend. It's not me. It's the girl in the mirror. She's the one that can't take her eyes off me. Let's do something else before you really get sick. Doppelganger? Us, that's what you did. No! No! Ah. Here's looking at you, kid.
reflection so much. Look around. You're surrounded by yourself. Who are you? I'm your doppelganger. I was your reflection, and now I'm you. And you are my reflection. Enjoy. I know I'm going to. See you in the mirror. <laughs> stories, you should so not worry. Oh, I've got a perfect story. You'll love it, Ginger. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, it's a really good one. I guarantee it happened in my own neighborhood. Picture cute puppies at a pet store. Yeah, having a dog is a big responsibility. I can do it. I know I can. I'm responsible. I would do anything to have a puppy. Tom, we did say that if Chloe got good grades, we'd consider it. Yes, well, hey, I know. Mrs. Winters down the block is looking for a dog sitter for the three-day weekend. Remember that flyer I found on our front porch? Chloe, you can get some experience taking care of a dog and show that you're responsible enough to take care of your own. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. She can walk him and feed him and... Bathe him and brush him. And teach him tricks. And pick up his poopy pies. Ew! Yuck! <laughs> okay, let's do it! Steak. Come in! Come in! I can't! The door is locked! Can I help you? I, I, I was looking for Mrs. Winters? Found her. Now what can I do for you? You're Mrs. Winters? But who... I thought... Oh, that. That's my, uh... My parrot. I was answering your flyer. I live just down the street. I'm very responsible. Stay right there. Meet Taco, Prince of Dogs. <laughs> Does he bite? Of course not. Well, but I mean, does he have to be muzzled? It seems so... Trust me, it's better for everyone. My parents say that if I do a good job taking care of your dog and show that I'm responsible, I can get a puppy of my own. That's fine. Just bring him back Sunday night. Good luck. Come on, Taco. What is it, boy? Homesick already? Oh, it's that muzzle, isn't it? Here, we won't tell. There, is that better? Come on, boy. Come on. 
Taco? I don't believe it. That woman goes to France and dumps you with some brat? <laughs> the nerve. Call this a life? Ten years old and I ain't never been to Paris. What? You, you can you can talk! Yeah, and you can walk on two legs. Oh my gosh! A talking dog! I can't believe it! This is great! You've got him. Isn't he handsome? He talks, he talks! Oh, neat, let's see. Speak, Taco, speak. No, no, Mom. He really can talk. Show her, Taco. Good boy. Talk for Mom. Roof. Wow. It sounds just like he's saying roof. Neat, honey. <laughs> Hey, why don't you say something to her? You actually think I want to spend the rest of my short life in a lab with a bunch of science geeks poking and priding at me? There, little guy. It's okay. Chloe, Mom says that this is Mrs. Winter's dog. You're taking care of him to show that you're responsible, and already I find him on the front lawn shaking and scared. You are ruining my chances of getting a puppy! That is correct, shorty. Two legs, <laughs> and uh, give me a steak. Chloe, time for dinner. Don't move. Stay, just stay, please. Honey, where's the fire? Why don't you sit down and finish eating? Mm. All right, uh, let me get some uh, some chow mein, chop suey. Let's see. Uh, mm. Fragrant temple noodle with the, with that black bean sauce. Yeah, lots of black bean sauce. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, Mugu Gai Pan. Peking duck. No bones, all right? I mean that. And, and, and oh, a few of those, uh, oh yeah, fried wontons. Throw skimp on those and throw in an extra fortune cookie in case uh, I don't like what the first one says. <laughs> What's that? $52? Chop. What have you done? As far as takeout goes, Chow Yang is my favorite. Mm -hmm. No, no, take it back. Call them. It's too late, kid. <laughs> they on their way. Be here any minute. You'll need cash. About 65 ought to do it. 65 dollars? Yeah, well, I like to tip generous. Money spent is money earned. Ha! <laughs> Today, okay? Who put anchovies on a pizza? What kind of joker puts anchovies on a pizza? Wait, how'd we get in here? Oh, oh, hold up. What's going on? Don't put me in there! Ah! Cold, cold! Wait! No, no, no shampoo! Please! No! No! Not a bad! Just a dream. Whew. Just a bad dream. Mm. 
eggs and bacon? That sounds good. Over easy. Don't overcook them. You have any chives? Oh, Dad, it's terrible. I think Taco is fleas. I think I'll give him a bath. Ooh, fleas. No good. We better get on that right away. No, no. What are you doing? I'll tell your parents what you've been up to. You'll never get a puppy. Never. Go ahead. You'll be in some two-bit carnival act before you can stay a doggy biscuit. Mom! How about we take Taco for a walk? Oh, I'd love to. It'll be good for Taco to get out and get some exercise. Okay, okay, I give. You proved yourself to your parents, all right? Now take me home, please. Yes, of course I will. Thank you, Taco. I couldn't have done it without you. Chloe, you did such a wonderful job taking care of Taco. That we thought we'd surprise you with... A puppy! puppy! <laughs> oh, he is so cute! Thank you, Mom and Dad. You're the best! Oh, I'll take good care of him. Here's your steak pizza. Pizza? Who ordered pizza? <laughs> That wasn't even scary. It was funny. Ah! Ladies, my goodness. It's time to go to bed. Okay. Yes, Mrs. Wisping. Good yes, night. All right. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Got a scary story, but it's getting late, and my mom said we have to go to sleep. Come on, Ginger, it's a sleepover. It's not about sleeping. We gotta tell spooky stories. Tell it, Megan. Tell it. Scare us. Yeah, tell the story. Come close and listen. Listen to my story. A story about a girl, just like us. Your sister and I have been looking all over for you. Wait, Callie, I want some pie. <laughs> Megan, you've got to stop wandering off. I was panicked. Come on, let's go. But Tanya, I've been waiting all year for this pie. This is not just any pie. We just ate lunch. We'll get some later. But I want some now. Well, we don't, and there are two of us and only one of you. I wish there were none of you. Why can't I just hang out on my own? Because, little sis, I'm in charge of you. Hideous! Poison! We'd be waiting all day! Let's do something else to come back later when the line has gone down. No, no, wait! I've been waiting all year! This is my all-time favorite! If we wait through this line, we'll only get to go on this ride. I mean, look! There are tons of other rides. We're going on this ride, so you're going on this ride. Come on, Megan. Give it a spin. You'll love it. <laughs> Oh, 
way off the subject, but it's the best we can do for a quick change. Mm, orange isn't your best color, and the clown is way freakish. But in general, it's not so bad. I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm your favorite sister. You're my only sister. <gasps> Pardon me, um, excuse me, please. Sorry, can I just squeeze through, please? Excuse me. All right, then. Hey, there you go, Jojo. Save the dirt for you. Sorry, darling. Last piece. So dramatic. You're ruining my whole day. I just wish you'd go away. Come on. We'll get you some ice cream. You'll be fine. Watch it, kid. Whoa! Now look what you did. Magic. Come on, it's gonna be great. You'll love it. Look what happened to me when you chose the last ride. <laughs> this isn't a ride. I don't care. I don't want to go. I'll wait outside. Sorry, sis, but I can't leave you out here. Be a sport. Come on. I'm sick of you bossing me around. I'm sick of clowns. I'm sick of everybody. We need to summon Senior Miracle with a magical incantation. Help me, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Okay, everybody, I need your help or Senior Miracle won't appear. So? Repeat after me. <clears throat> Abracadabra, magic be near. Abracadabra, magic be near. Senior Miracle, we call you now to appear. Senior Miracle, we call you now to appear. How about making everybody disappear? Muchos gracias! Thank you, thank you! for volunteering, young lady. And now, this fine young lady will pass into the realm of magic through the portal of this ancient magic cabinet. And if luck is with us, we will be able to call you back from the realm of magic! When you open the cabinet, we will be gone. Hey, don't you mean when I open the cabinet, you will be gone? Abracadabra! Above and beyond! Whoa! Good trick! How... How did you do that? Tanya? Callie?
<laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wish you away. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Come back. I didn't mean it. Tanya, Kelly. <gasps> Thank you, my dear. Did you miss us? Keep that as a memento. Oh, you're back. I missed you. Don't ever go away like that again. Um, we didn't go anywhere. Okay, then. Let's move on, shall we? Are you okay, little sis? Yes, now that you're back. So what do you want to do next, Megan? How about the Riptide? Would you like that? I, I mean, I feel really bad that we didn't let you... No, no, no Riptide or pie. Let's stay away from the pie and anything with clowns. Far away as you can from clowns. Whatever you want, little sis. You're my favorite sister. I'm your only sister. <laughs> 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 What's wrong, Ginger? Do we have to tell any more? Of course. It's fun. Come on, hostess with the mosis. Don't you want to hear my story? <gasps> what was that? It was nothing. Just a shudder or something. Nothing. Just, just... Okay, just go ahead and tell your story. You know those charm bracelets? The ones that are so popular at school? Mom, everybody has them. Yasmin, don't exaggerate. Now, I'm sure that not everybody has one. Uh-huh. Chloe has one. Sasha has one. Even Jade's got one. I'll be the only one who doesn't have a charm bracelet. <gasps> I'll be an outcast. Honey, it's just another one of those fads that run wild around school and then peter out. Please, Mom. Please. It's too extravagant for a girl your age. It's not even your birthday. But it is your friend Dana's birthday tomorrow. Oh, here we are. <laughs> now, why don't you go pick out something nice for her from you while I do my errands, hmm? Remember, tis better to give than to receive. Oh, there's a gift shop. So let's meet at four at the ice cream parlor and we'll have a treat. Chocolate sundae? Mmm. Much better than an old bracelet you'll be tired of in a week. Better to give than to receive.
Thank you so much. I love it. You're all so sweet. I feel like a princess. <laughs> wow, Yaz, you have one of those cool bracelets. Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever. Lucky. Cool, it's from you. Thank you. This looks so nice. I hope you didn't go to too much trouble. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's just what I needed. You're the best. <sighs> Are you sure you like it? Yes, it's perfect. I'll put some flowers in it right now. I know exactly where I'm going to put it on my windowsill. Sweater? No, um. You got your teeth cleaned. Chloe? <gasps> no, don't tell me. You cut your hair and we missed it. Charm bracelet. See, I have one. It's got a flower charm, a rocking horse, and of course a heart. Isn't it cute? Hey, where are yours? I kept catching on my sweater. I don't wear it every day, especially when I have soccer practice. Wow, those chains are cool. Are they new? Yep, last weekend. They're awesome. I've got to get some. What do you want now, dear? Jeans? I mean, what was it last week that you had to have? Oh, right. See, you see how fads come and go? I mean, aren't you glad I didn't buy that expensive charm bracelet for you? Okay, very funny. You're officially making me crazy. Who is it? Who keeps moving my charm bracelet? Charm bracelet? Aren't those kind of tired? You better put that on, Yasmin, or you'll lose it. They're not cheap. Yeah, yeah, you guys are real jokers. Funny, funny, hilarious. What are you talking about? Uh, never mind, gotta go. Whatever you think. Ready to help me bake some cookies? Oh, sure. Sure. Yum. Chocolate chip, your favorite. How about mixing in the eggs while I get the cookie sheets? <gasps> Finish. 
finished already? Uh, oops, I forgot to wash up. What is going on with you? Just having a bad day, I guess. I don't understand what's going on with you girls. Girls? Well, Dana just called crying too. She's distraught because her cat knocked over the vase you gave her for her birthday and broke it. She feels terrible. Mom, I know the perfect replacement gift to cheer her up. Well, that's wonderful, honey. I'm gonna take it to her right now. Well, I bet by cheering Dana up, you'll be cheered up too. I think you're right, Mom. Like you said, it's better to give than to receive. Yasmin, did your mom tell you? I'm so sorry. I love that vase you gave me. I have something so much better. You see, the bracelet was cursed for me, I think, because <sighs> I did a terrible thing. I used the money for your birthday gift to buy myself the bracelet. And with what was left over, I bought you the vase. Can you ever forgive me? I'm the worst friend. Of course I forgive you. That was a hard thing to confess. This should have been for you all along. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting one of these forever. But my mom wouldn't get it for me because I always lose jewelry. I'm so excited. Is it really for me? Yes, and I'm so sorry about everything. It's the perfect piece of jewelry for me. Yeah, because you can never misplace it or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> scary story is, but you will when you've heard mine. Tell <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tell the story. I know, let's go to sleep. I'm afraid my mom will hear us. I'll whisper. But, but, what if she does? Your mom seems so sweet. She wouldn't get upset about us telling spooky stories, would she? I mean, come on, it's a sleepover already. Yeah, Ginger, get the spirit. Get it, spirit? Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. That was a bad one. <laughs> Are you really that scared of your mom, Ginger? Well, what is it? Okay, okay, I'm a sissy, I admit it. But golly, girls, spooky stories really do scare me. And right now, I'm positively petrified. But this is just getting good. And Jade hasn't had her turn. Yeah, guys, Jade needs to tell her story. And then we'll stop, okay? You don't want us to tickle torch you, do ya? <laughs> Okay, some kids were at an amusement park. Ooh, this is my favorite ride! But I am getting a little nervous. Are you, Chloe? Yeah, I've got butterflies. Oh, this ride always freaks me out. Last year was my first time on this ride. I only went once. I can't believe you guys. This ride is so not scary. Uh, Jade, have you ever been on this ride before? No, Yasmin, I haven't. But come on, look around. It's a kitty ride. Totally wimpy. Uh, cool cat. 
Jasmine, Chloe, and I have all been on this ride before. Trust me, it's scary. Read my lips. I'm not scared. It's okay to admit you're afraid. We all did. That's what friends are for. Angel, maybe you get scared of little things like spiders and black cats and germs, but I'm not. I'm not really scared of anything, especially things that aren't real, like monsters. Gosh, cool cat, you don't need to put me down. It's okay to be scared of things. Some things are scary. And this rat is one of them. Oh, please, you've got to be kidding me. Get serious. <gasps> Shh, they'll hear you. I heard a story about a boy who said he didn't believe in monsters and wasn't afraid, got on the ride and never came out. Uh-huh, sure, Sasha. Like, I'd really believe that ridiculous story. No, it's true. The boy was scared, but he was too embarrassed to admit it, so he kept saying things and... What kind of things? Well, things like you've been saying. No! Yes! Next! Please watch your step. Have a nice ride. I heard it from the brother of the guy that used to work at the soda fountain where the girl whose older sister knew the daughter, the man who used to fix the little cars. See, Jade, you shouldn't badmouth something you don't know about. Monsters? Please. Stop it! Jade! Not nice! Next! Please watch your step. Have a nice ride. Cool cat, you probably hurt that guy's feelings. Plus, you're ruining the fun for us with your bad attitude. You guys are playing me. Monsters, police.
I guess the story isn't true after all. I knew it was too good to be true. Next, please watch your step. How? What? Guys, that wasn't funny. That was horrible. How did you? I don't get how. So, Jade, was that just a little bit scary? Just a teeny, tiny little bit? How would she know? She closed her eyes the whole time. I don't understand how. The eyes, the fangs. Oh, she doesn't get it, cause she missed part of the ride. Maybe we should just go again. No! You're right, Jade. It's kind of a boring ride. I think we should find something scarier now. Can't we, guys? What about the Martian mystery ride? Come on, let's show Jade a really scary ride. That was a great story, Jade. I've got goosebumps. Spooky. Ginger, are you okay? That was simply awful. Now can we go to bed? No. What? It's your turn. Uh, my turn? You have to go. Come on, make it scary. Your turn. Yeah. You tell us a really spooky story, scarier than mine and then we'll go to bed. Oh, me? Yep. But I told you girls, spooky stories give me the willies. I can't stomach hearing them. So what makes you think I could tell one? How could you host a sleepover and not like scary stories? Give it a try. I bet you're better than you think. And then we'll go right to bed. Yeah, we promise this time. All you have to do is tell us one story. You promise? That'll be it. Promise? But you gotta really scare our pants off. Well, okay, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. There once was this girl. What's that noise? It must be a shutter or a tree in the wind. I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, go on with your story. And she invited her friends over for a slumber party. <laughs> this is gonna be good. They had finger sandwiches, pigs in a blanket, cupcakes and punch, played games like pin the tail on the donkey, charades, had a fashion show, <gasps> dance contest. They had a really good time and got to know each other. The hostess could tell they were all going to be the best of friends. <sighs> Wake me up when you get to the scary part. Not nice. Yeah, give her a chance. Go on, Ginger. But you might want to pick up the pace a bit. And remember, it's supposed to be a spooky story? Yeah, really scare us. Then it was time to go to bed. They rolled out their sleeping beds on the floor. And, and... What? No, no, I don't think I can. Keep going. Bye, 
my goodness, my goodness! I can't go on! It's too terrible! Too horrible! I can't! Kooky, what was that about? Oh my gosh! Is... is she really upset or just fooling? Guys, I think she's really upset. She was really scared! Why did I listen to her? And she was so nice to invite us. Guys, we've been really obnoxious. Let's go find her and apologize. She'll never want us over again. <laughs> Grab your flashlights, guys. Something's wrong with the lights. Ginger! Ginger! Ah! <gasps> Yuck! Gross! Spiders! This can't be her parents' bedroom. It looks like they haven't used it in months. Years. Her parents must be in the next room. Ginger! We're sorry! Ginger! Hey, there's that weird sound again. She said it's just the shutter. Remember? Uh-huh. Ginger! Where are you? Ginger? Welcome, ladies. I'm so excited! My first sleepover! We'll go to my house. Welcome, ladies. Having a big party. There was 
these things can't be there. Well, here we are. I'm Boo. Are you sure your parents were having a party? Well, it's kind of late. Everyone must have left already. Yeah, seems pretty quiet. Are we going in or not? It's cold out here. Come on, people. No reason for me to be afraid of my own house. Uh, do you think? Don't say it. They can't be here this time. Maybe this is some kind of bad dream. Ow! Hey, you pinched me. I wanted to see if it was a nightmare. Then pinch yourself. Shh. Let's go around back. Welcome. Whatever. Jeez. What's wrong with them? Gosh. How rude was that? What did they have to be afraid of anyway? <gasps> Whoa! Gross! What? You've got some in your teeth! Really? <sighs> Yum! A bug! Gimme, gimme! Oh, give me that bug! I saw it! Well, I guess we could try going to my house. I think I'd rather sleep outside. Or we could sleep in the park. Or under a bridge. Or in a sewer. Yes. Nice and damp and dark and smelly. Ah! What's that guy's problem? What is with everybody tonight? People are acting crazy! Well, you know what they say. Strange things happen on a full moon. Life is such a mystery